Property prices in Singapore are crazily expensive and if you want to invest in one residential property in Singapore, it can easily cost you half a million to a few million dollars depending on the location where you want it to be. So when we buy a property, we have to borrow money from the bank unless you are some rich tycoon that you cash down the entire payment. But for most of us who are watching this video, we know that most of us take up bank loan. Okay, So when we take up bank loan as a property investor, we have to decide whether you want to take a loan as a floating rate or as a fixed rate so, so this is a very important consideration that every property investor will have to decide and in this video we're gonna look into that my name is Rusmin and I'm a co-founder of the fifth person at fifth person we want to help you to become a better investor so that you can start to build a very steady stream of passive income in years to come to help you to get started building passive income we have compiled a list of uh, five quality which they have been paying a very steady dividends over the last 10 years if you want to find out what are those REITs you can find the download link in the description box below so let me first explain what is interest rate interest rate is something that is the money that you put in the bank and each year you earn the interest rate I don't think I explained it well but you know what I mean right if when you put the money in the bank usually each year you will have interest that the bank will give it to you and the bank will take your money they will lend out to someone who wants to borrow money from them at a higher interest rate and that's how banks make money right so when we borrow money from the bank bank will charge us certain interest rate let's say if you want to borrow one million dollars and three percent interest rate is going to cost you thirty thousand dollars each year borrowers who want to borrow money from the bank will have to decide whether they want to go for a fixed loan rate or a floating loan rate right so for those who want to go for a fixed loan rate the rates are generally higher as compared to a floating rate because the banks knows that if they were to fix the interest rate with you they are taking the risk on the interest if it goes up they will earn lesser if it comes down they're gonna make more money from the spread right so that's the reason why fixed rate loan tends to be a lot higher as compared to a floating loan if you go for a fixed loans you want to have the stability right people who won't go for a fixed loan they want to know that over the next two to three years the interest they're gonna pay is gonna be the same so that they can uh, budget the amount then there won't be any surprises whereas for people who go for floating loans they are trying to take advantage of the situation that interest rate may drop and they rather go for a floating interest rate at the same time they save a lot of money from the mortgages so we use the same concept to analyze the REITs generally we want to choose REITs that have higher percentage of their loans that are fixed when we know that the interest is going to go up in the future and we also want to go for REITs that have higher percentage of their loans that are floating which we know the interest is going to drop down the road. Let me give you two examples. Back in 2011, I was looking at these two particular REITs. One is Suntech REITs, the other one is Capital Land Commercial Trust. And both of these REITs own very good quality offices in the CBD area in Singapore. And at that time, both of them were trading at a very good uh, prices and they were trading at a huge discount to their net asset value. When I was looking and analyzing their loan profile of these two particular REITs, I noticed that Suntech have a bulk of their loans that are actually floating about close to uh, 80 over percent. On the other hand, when I look at the Capital Land Commercial Trust, a bulk of their loans are actually fixed in nature, about close to 88 percent. Right. So these two are the exact opposite. But back in 2011, we were having a very low interest rate and generally I also worry that the interest rate might rise in the future. I would rather go for those uh, REITs that have higher percentage of the loan that are actually fixed because I know that if Federal Reserve decide to increase the interest rate three years, two years down the road, Capital Land Commercial Trust will be in a better position because a lot of their loans are actually fixed. On the other hand, a bulk of the Suntec REITs have uh, a lot of their loans are actually floating so if interest rate were to go up a year later, uh, this will affect their distribution. And your next question is going to be, Rusmin, how do you find this information or where do you find this information of uh, the loan profile of the REITs, how many percentage is floating, how many percentage is fixed. Okay, so I'm just going to show you here in the screen. Uh, from here, depends on what REITs that you are looking at. Let's, let me give you an example. Since we are talking about Suntech REITs, so I will just give you Suntech REITs as an example. Okay, so we go to the Suntech REITs website and typically you need to download the annual report if not presentation slide. Okay, so where can you find this information? You can simply go to the investor 
relation and here you get to see that uh, you have financial information you have publication and what we're interested in is of course is the financial result all right so if you go to the financial result i will usually go to the presentation slide sometimes some company will uh, present this uh, loan profile in their presentation slides so in the case of suntech uh, you need to navigate to the segment where they talk about their loans their refinancing and usually it takes some time to find the information so so the quickest way to do it of course you want to uh, use the shortcut right so if you do the shortcut you can always uh, type loan right and or you can type uh, fixed loan and here you go so this is basically it bring us straight into the slides we have the interest rate borrowings that is about 75 percent of their loans that are actually fixed okay, so this will bring you straight to the page i decided to compile a list of the floating loans and uh, fixed loans for all the reads here in singapore from here you get to see that uh, we have retail reads which mostly own shopping malls uh, these are the whole list of retail reads in singapore we have bhg retail reads uh, currently 60% of their loans are fixed in nature, the remaining 40% are floating. We have Capital and More Trust, 92% of their loans are fixed. So how you can interpret from this table is that those that are, have a higher percentage of their loans that are actually fixed, if let's say next two years or three years, if the interest rate were to go up, they are less likely to get affected. But obviously if the interest rate were to go down, the one that is in the best position to take advantage of the low interest rate is going to be Sasa. But please take note that the data is drawn in 2020. So if you're watching this three years, five years down the road, and the numbers will be very different because every time when the loans are mature, the REITs will usually have to refinance them. So they may change it from floating to fixed depending on the interest rate at a point in time, right? So, and this is the full list of office REITs. And we have also a list of industrial REITs that have, uh, about of them are actually fixed in nature. And if you look at the healthcare REITs, uh, generally healthcare REITs are first REITs uh, fix their loan about 60%, Parkwayla REITs fix their loan at about 83%. So Parkway will be in a better position if interest rate were to go up in the future. Uh, hospitality REITs, you can see that uh, Bao Awip actually fixed their loan, except CDL, where 55% of their loans are basically fixed in nature, where remaining 45% are floating. Of course, this is not the only information that you can use to decide which of the following REITs that you want to invest. Right? You still need to look at the, some of the quality aspect of the REITs, like the location of the property, who are the tenants, and the lease goes on. When it comes to predicting the interest rate, uh, it is always very difficult. right? No one really knows where the interest is going to be down the road. If you look at the pre-COVID-19, Federal Reserve announced that they're going to increase the interest rate to as high as 3% in 2020. But 2020, we have COVID-19 and the next moment, interest rate dropped all the way to 0%. Okay, So any REITs that have their percentage of their loans that are floating in nature will likely to stand in a very good position over the next one year or two years to take advantage of the lower interest rate situation. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, please give a thumbs up to this video and remember to share it with your friends. I will see you in the next video. Oh, before I let you go, remember to download your free reports in the description box below.